Hey Algebra 2, today we're going to talk about trig ratios of angles of any measure. Well, the first thing when we talk about these is we have to know what the ratios are. So sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, um, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent, and so on and so forth, but we've done this already. So here, this is just a reminder, we have here find the six trig ratios for the angle whose terminal side contains the given point. So 3, negative 7. So what we're going to have to do is plot this. Um, I'm not so concerned that you get every little mark. So over 3, about down 7. Okay. So we went over 3, down 7. And we have our point here. And we create our terminal side. Now with every single one of these, you're going to be able to create a right triangle. And you always go to the x-axis. We never want to go across to the y-axis to make our tri triangle. We always want to go up to the x-axis, or if our point is up here, we go down to the x-axis. So here, the length here is 3, went over 3, then we went down 7. So we need to find our hypotenuse in order to fill out all the trig functions, or trig ratios. So we do the Pythagorean theorem. We have 3 squared plus negative 7 squared equals, let's say, c squared. Let's call this c. Okay, so 9 plus 49 equals c squared. Therefore, this gives us 58 equals c squared. And then again, we square root. So our hypotenuse is going to be the square root of 58. All right, root 58. Now that we have all three sides, we can find the six trig ratios. Remember, we go from our terminal angle here. So from that angle, we're going to write down all the six trig um, ratios. So sine, I mean, if we want to get technical, we could put theta here and say this is sine of theta. But for the sake of this, well, we don't need to put theta in right now. So sine of theta is opposite over the hypotenuse. So negative 7 over the square root of 58. And remember, for this assignment, you don't have to uh, rationalize the denominator for this problem. Okay? Um, cosine is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So 3 over root 58. Tangent is going to be opposite over adjacent, so negative 7 thirds. And remember, cosecant is the um, flip of sine. So negative root 58 over 7, positive root 58 over 3, cotangent is tangent flip, so negative 3 sevenths. Okay? So again, the point with this is first make sure you plot it correctly, over 3, down 7. We have our terminal side, then we create our triangle. Okay, and this is always, there goes our 90 degree angle. Since it's a right triangle, we can use a Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. And then from there, since we know all three sides, we find our trig ratios. So let's do one more. Our next one, root 2 and root 6. So if I have here over root 2, up root 6, our x value is smaller than our y value, so over a certain amount, up. Okay. Create our triangle. So we went over root 2, we went up root 6. And again, we always do to the x-axis, okay? So here goes our right angle. And again, we go from our terminal angle, but we still need to know the hypotenuse. So we have root 2 squared plus the square root of 6 squared equals c squared. Again, our hypotenuse will be c. So root 2 squared is 2 plus 6 equals c squared. That gives us 8. So when we take the square root, remember we could break down 8. c is going to be 2 root 2 because 8 is 4 times 2. So now that's our hypotenuse. So we have here 2 root 2. So our sine from our terminal angle is going to be opposite, so root 6 over hypotenuse, which is 2 root 2. And remember, whenever you have a root over another root, you can divide those. So our final answer would be root 3 over 2. Next we have cosine which is adjacent over hypotenuse, in which in this case, they just cross out, so we're left with one half, okay? Let me clean my screen. Tangent is gonna be root six opposite over adjacent, which again, root six divided by root two would be root three. 
And from here, we just flip. So this would be 2 over root 3, 2 over 1, which is 2, and this becomes 1 over root 3, because that goes to the denominator. All right? All right, let's try a little bit different type of problem. Um, oh, no, actually, that's for the next lesson. So this is how we apply the... This is how we find the six trig functions, is plot your point, find your hypotenuse by doing the Pythagorean theorem, and then we could find our six ratios. All right? Well, good luck with that.